Hi, my name is Taylor Ray, and I'll be telling you about X-ray photo emission spectroscopy. So sometimes we have a surface of a sample, and we want to know what's on that surface, but it's too small to just look at. So we use something called X-ray photo emission spectroscopy to look at this surface. And we're going to look at how this process works. So XPS provides information about what elements are on our surface, what those elements are bound to, and a lot more. So it's really useful. And it uses something called the photoelectric effect to do this. So the photoelectric effect was discovered by Einstein and he got his Nobel Prize for it. And it's where we take a material and we shine light or photons on it. And those photons eject electrons. And we call this surface a photocathode. And just note that not all materials can do this and some do it better than others. So XPS looks a little something like this, where we have that photocathode, we shine x-rays on it, which emit electrons, and we then detect those electrons and measure their kinetic energy. Then we get a plot out that looks a little something like this, where we have kinetic energy on the bottom, and then our y-axis is the number of electrons we're detecting at that particular kinetic energy. So we can convert these kinetic energy values into something called binding energy through energy conservation. Just a note on binding energy. This is the amount of energy that is holding the electron inside the atom. And we need to give the electron at least this much energy in order to remove it from that atom. So going back to this energy conservation idea, we have that electron inside our surface and we're giving it a certain amount of energy through that x-ray. We then talked about how much binding energy is involved and what's left over is the kinetic energy that we measure. So since we know how much energy we're giving through that x-ray and we're measuring the kinetic energy, we can convert those over into binding energies. But why would we want these in binding energy values rather than in kinetic energy. Well, it's the binding energy that's telling us about our surface. It lets us know what elements are on the surface, what orbital the electrons came from, as well as the oxidation state, and a lot, lot more. So there's still a problem here, and there's actually um, two main problems that we have to deal with within XPS data. The first being that some electrons scatter on the way out of the surface and then we detect those at binding energies that don't tell us anything. And some binding energy values overlap, so we can't see the signal from each individual element. So this summer, I wrote a procedure that deals with these two complications automatically. So to learn more, you can read my paper. Thank you so much.